hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new welcome to a brand new video and in today's video if you hadn't already seen by the title i will be filming my five current go-to outfits so these are the outfits that i have currently been wearing at the moment religiously if i cannot think of anything to wear then i will probably sway towards the outfits that i will be showing you throughout this video i have previously asked over on my instagram what videos that you would like to see on my channel and I did have a lot of requests to film more fashion content related videos and um, I understand that with haul videos they are everybody's favourite but they are also quite costly and unfortunately I do not have the funds to spend every month on doing haul videos which I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate to so I thought that I would just gather up all of my favourite outfits that I have been loving so far this year try them on for you and let you know where they are from from. I have also just painted my nails before filming this video which was definitely a bad idea because some have already smudged because I've become quite impatient and wanted to film this video ASAP. My jacket potato is currently in the oven for 1 hour 35 minutes so that is how long I've given myself to film this video. Okay, so this first outfit that I'm going to show you is definitely probably one of my most worn outfits for the start of this year. This jacket was from I Saw It First. I love the piping along the sides with the massive buttons and the silver detailing. I find it quite hard to find jackets which have a silver detailing rather than a gold. Um, but so this will definitely probably be making an appearance next year as well. Um, but we are still getting storms in the UK. We are still getting rainy cold weather. So it is still becoming handy at the minute. And so as I said, that jacket was a size six and I got that from I Saw It First. The next item which I want to show you to pair with that coat is this plain stone coloured t-shirt. This is just a plain t-shirt which is quite oversized and this is from Pretty Little Thing in a size 4. I just thought that this t-shirt went really well with the beige piping and I think that this does also bring the whole look together. These two items pair really nicely and I have also paired with that these faux leather leggings from I, from not I saw it first from rebellious fashion they are super super high waisted with a massive band at the top and then they are just a legging style material and um, they are faux leather and I have had these for quite a while and um, so they are starting to go a bit funny so really I could do with getting some more but these have been much loved and I have got the wear out of these I mean these are probably the most worn bottom half of clothing that I have owned. I did get these in a size 4 and I've just worn them to death. I absolutely love the faux leather trend. With regards to accessories, the accessories that I have paired with that outfit is this really cute nude ribbed beanie. This is from ASOS. This is a one size fits all. This, I love wearing beanies. Me and beanies are like best friends. They're just such a staple, I think, in your wardrobe. It comes to hair wash days. If you really need to wash your hair and it isn't your hair wash day just yet, then stick a beanie over the top and you're good to go. This is a beige cream knitted beanie. It just ties in really nicely with the outfit. The bag which I have paired alongside the outfit is this really cute Celine dupe lookalike bag from Zara. I did get this quite a while ago, so I'm not quite sure if it will still be available. But if not, I will try and link something similar. When I was younger in like secondary school, 
I always used to dream of having a Celine bag. I absolutely love them. But of course, they are mega expensive and the price point is just really off-putting. It looks exactly the same as a Celine bag. However, it just doesn't have the Celine branding on the front. And I just thought that this paired with the outfit went really, really well. So that is the first outfit. And you know that I have worn this outfit religiously because you have seen that coat over on my Instagram quite a few times but I just think that that outfit is really aesthetically pleasing it's a really really neutral outfit okay so the next outfit is definitely an outfit which you could transition into spring so if it does start to get a little bit warmer but it is still quite chilly then this is literally a perfect outfit to wear and it is from Primark and it's a co-ord so the top is this camel coloured turtleneck ribbed jumper. It is oversized and the sleeves are quite flowy. I did get this in a size small. Hopefully they do still have this website so I can link it for you down below. And to pair with that jumper I do have the matching skirt. Now this is a maxi skirt so it will come down quite long. It does have quite a big elasticated waistband and it is definitely high waisted. This cord is the comfiest cord that I have ever worn in my whole entire life and I am not exaggerating when I say that. I did get this skirt in a two times extra small. These can become quite long and this is quite long on me anyway. I do like to accessorise this outfit wearing my Louis Vuitton multi pochette bag. I have taken the pink strap off because I have seen it floating around on Instagram where they are just worn like so and I have also taken off the little circle bag. I have been using that for my AirPods and I've actually attached that to my keys. It just makes it so much easier to find your keys when they're in the bottom of the bag. I just absolutely love this bag. It does have two compartments and you can fit a lot of stuff in here. It's really nicely with the cord with regards to the lighter nude and then the darker brown. I just think that it's a really nice match and with the camel colours I think that gold accessories go really nicely with it rather than silver. To be honest that's the bag that I use majority of the times on the weekend anyway. I just absolutely love it. It's not too big and it's not too small and you can fit a lot in it. With regards to jewellery, with the outfit I have been accessorising these gold hoops. I have really been getting into jewellery at the minute. As you can see, I do have these really cute earrings on with this outfit, which I will show you near the end of the video. These are from ASOS, and these are the Liars and Lovers gold earrings. As I said, I won't really wear a jacket with that outfit, but if I did, you could just pair a black leather jacket with it. You could also wear with that outfit Dr. Martens. If it has been raining or it is a little bit chillier, but you do still want to wear that really cute cord, you could pair these Dr. Martens with it and it would still look really, really nice. Especially with the leather jacket, the blacks would tie in really well with the outfit. Or if it is a bit sunnier and you definitely don't need to wear a jacket, then you could pair these trainers with it, which is what I have paired with the outfit before. And these are the Adidas Oswe... I really cannot pronounce it very well. These Adidas Oswego trainers. I absolutely love these trainers and they do go with so much. They definitely look like a Yeezy sort of vibe. You feel like you are walking on clouds. These are so lightweight. And every time I do post a picture of these, wearing these over on my Instagram, I do get a lot of questions on what trainer they are. So these would go really nicely with the outfit. They do have a hint of beige in them. So that does just tie in with the outfit really nicely. So that is outfit number two and definitely a more spring appropriate outfit. So the third outfit will be a bit of a faff because they are quite awkward items to show on the camera. 
but this outfit is one that I was religiously wearing when in Dublin. I say religiously wear, I wore it in Dublin and have worn it at home since. If you would have known, I went to Dublin at the end of February. So I have been wearing this outfit quite a lot because it is one, really comfortable, two, quite trendy, three, a bit unique, and I just absolutely love it. So the main part of this outfit is this Topshop acid wash boiler suit. I think it is real denim. I did pay 60 something pounds for this. So I think it is real denim. And I did get this in a size four. It does have the silver zips and a lot of silver detailing. It does also have silver zips on the sleeves. And this is the belt that does come with the boiler suit. I do wear this belt, however, I don't put it in the loops. I do just tie it myself and really cinch in the waist. This does look quite uncomfortable, but it is really comfortable. When I do wear this, I get so, so many compliments on it. This was my airport outfit, and I did get a lot of comments on my Instagram post asking where this was from. Um, so this is from Topshop and I'm pretty sure it is still on the website so I will link it down below. And I don't think it will come to any surprise that the jacket I wore with the boiler suit was this black trench coat with the balloon sleeves from Pretty Little Thing. This is in a size 4 and it does have a tie at the back. I just absolutely loved wearing this with the boiler suit because this is really thin material. It definitely doesn't get you overheated and quite hot. That denim is a lot. It is very thick. And so this is a perfectly matched jacket to wear with that boiler suit. Um, because it definitely doesn't get you too hot at all. I have worn it to work to be a lot more smarter. I have worn it casually with like a grey hoodie underneath. And I've worn it dressed up with a play suit or a dress as well. This has just become a staple in my wardrobe. And I will probably continue to wear this all year round and will not get bored of it. This was around 30 to 45 pounds. And I just absolutely love this and cannot get enough of it. And of course it probably is my favourite because it's black. And we all know that I love an all black outfit. Um, but no, this has definitely been well loved and well worn. I've got one hour left on my jacket potato, so I'm doing okay for time. I literally have not spoken so much in my whole entire life, and I definitely need a break. I'm literally sweating. When I was in Dublin, I did pair with the outfit a grey beanie, just to tie in the acid wash with the black jacket. But unfortunately, I put it in the wash because I got makeup all over the forehead on the inside, as you can imagine, because it's inevitable that you're going to get makeup on a beanie. But I cannot find it for the life of me. I have no idea where that beanie has gone. It has disappeared. So I have just thought to pair with it a black beanie instead. This one is from ASOS and it's like a Yankee style one. I just thought that with this logo it just adds a little bit of pop of colour and a little bit of interest to the outfit. I suppose if you didn't want to wear the Yankees bit you could fold the beanie in and just wear it plain like so. Um, but either way, a beanie is a really good way to style that outfit. It was really, really windy in Dublin and you definitely either, one, needed to wear your hair up, two, have it hairsprayed to your head, or three, to wear a beanie. Um, as I said, I did wear my grey one and I'll insert a photo of me wearing it now. Um, but because I can't find it, there's definitely nothing wrong with alternatively wearing a black beanie. And to go with that outfit, the shoe choice that I went for was my black Dr. Martins. These were so, so loved. 
at the start of this year and I have continued to wear them. I wear these to work every day because they're just so comfortable and I just absolutely love these shoes. If you are going to Dublin then if you have a pair of Doc Martens I would just wear them because they're the comfiest shoes that you could wear. And um, So I did pair my black Dr Martens with that outfit. I can't really remember the bag that I wore. I think I wore my Louis Vuitton bag with that as well um, but that is another go-to outfit that I have literally been living in at the start of this year. Okay so I have two more outfits to show you so in this video there was a total of five that's ten five outfits and the last two are a bit more dressier so say if I was going out for drinks and I didn't know what to wear or if I'm going for a nice meal and I do just want to dress up and look a bit nicer than usual a bit more jazzy I think you get what I'm trying to go with uh, but for this outfit the top that I want to show you is this really really nice crop top from Pretty Little Thing like a milkmaid style top so you have the cup for the boobies there you have the bow and then you have the corset detailing here it is off the shoulder so it would look like so and it does just have the black ruched sleeves here as well this is a size 4 and as I said I did pick this up from Pretty Little Thing. I absolutely love this top and I know that I will definitely be wearing this in summer of this year as well. It is still on the Pretty Little Thing website so I will link it down below. I have worn this so many times over on my Instagram and I have always been asked where it is from. I normally end up just sending people the links because it's so much easier. You will be able to see these better on the try-on clip because they are quite long. Um, but they are these flared jeans from Pretty Little Thing. I absolutely, not Pretty Little Thing, they're from Topshop. I absolutely love, oh no they're not, they're from Zara. I've been telling everybody they're from Topshop. Oops, my bad. If you have wanted to know where they're from, just go to the link below. Um, but they're really really tight at the top and then they go into a flare at the bottom so they are so super casual but then they're really I don't know what the word is they're really casual but yet they make the outfit look so much nicer and so much more put together because of the flare at the bottom these literally make your bum look so good. A little bit bigger than normal. Um, I just think that these jeans are super flattering. And if you're quite small, I would invest in a flared jean. Because they do make you a lot taller than you are. I have been pairing these jeans with quite a lot of cute tops. Just to wear when I go out to the pub. Or if I'm going out for a nice meal. Or just for drinks with friends. And then the bag that I have paired with that outfit continuously is this black croc faux leather bag from I Saw It First. I just love the detailing on this and I just think it is so nice. You cannot get a lot in this, don't get me wrong. It is very, very small inside but if you are just going out for drinks... The only things that you really need are your card, your ID, your phone. Then like maybe like a little perfume or something. I don't know. Don't know why I'm telling you the contents of a bag for when you go on a night out. Um, but you get the idea you don't need to carry a lot in this. I did get this in the sale, I believe, for £6. It was such a bargain. I just love anything croc print. I love it all. You pair with that bag and to tie the whole outfit together I have been wearing these black again croc print heels from Pretty Little Thing they are square and then they do have the little bit where your toe goes into you can see the detailing there they are quite high and they are not the most comfortable but I just thought that these shoes tie in really nicely with the croc print bag. I do also have a black pair of flared trousers which I love. I wear. I just think flared trousers on short small people are really really effective because they make them a lot taller. And so just a top tip for if you're a shorty like myself. 
Okay, so we are now on to the last outfit and it is the outfit that I am wearing. I did want to save this one for last because it is one that I have only just recently put together but I absolutely love. And I have got on the black satin oversized blazer it is a military blazer with the gold buttons down the side you may recognize this blazer from my ordering an entire outfit blindfolded the only item that i kept from that entire video this was such a find ever since i posted that video i've been wearing this to work i've been wearing it out to meals i've just been rinsing this blazer dry and to go with the blazer i have got on this white ribbed high neck long sleeved jumper from i saw it first it is so warm i am literally sweating whilst filming this video you will be able to see the whole outfit better when i do the try on section and um, but this is such a really plain outfit and um, but because of the detailing of the blazer with the buttons i just think that it looks a lot more put together i did also pair with this outfit these really cute earrings from asos i will link these down below as i said i am trying to get a lot more into jewelry so i do just love these earrings and it really ties in nicely with the gold buttons on this blazer the bag that i have paired with this outfit i have had for a really really long time and it is also a black croc snake print bag as you can tell i do really like this print and this one is from zara it's literally just a box with a really big buckled handle you can wear it like so or you can just hold it like so and i do really really like this it does have the gold detailing as well so it really just complements the outfit and goes really nicely it is quite a more formal bag i think so I think that this just adds a smart look to the outfit along with the blazer. I know that I definitely won't be able to link this but I will try and find something similar. Paired with this outfit, this is what really puts the outfit together and makes it so much more nicer. I have these knee high suede heeled boots from ASOS. I have had these since winter last year I believe because the heel is high but it's not too high. These are not uncomfortable at all and I can go quite a while wearing them. I just really really like these with this outfit and it is one as I said that I have recently just put together. This is another good outfit for if you're going out for drinks or you're going out for a really nice meal. If you just throw this outfit on you still look really put together and quite nice. So you will be glad to know that this is the end of the video everybody. I think I have just talked all of your heads off for around 25 minutes. But I did just want to go into detail with regards to the outfits that I have been absolutely loving for the start of this year. And will probably love for the whole of the year and into next autumn and winter. I really hope that this did give you some fashion inspiration and some ideas of how to create your own outfits if you would like me to do one of these videos near the spring summer time with my go-to spring and summer outfits then i can 100 percent film that for you just let me know down below if you would like me to do that also let me know if you have enjoyed watching this video and please do let me know as well if you have found it boring if you have then i of course won't film one of these again but i'm hoping that you are all going to be really kind and say that you have enjoyed this video so thank you for watching everybody and hopefully i will see you in my next video